so I've reconnected my HD2 you can't really see it it's so dark but with the USB cable here I have reconnected back in the scaled on Windows Chucky ROM and I'm going to reinstall the Windows Mobile ROM from T-Mobile because I have a T-Mobile US version the T-Mouse some people have been um, calling it T-Mouse or I'm not sure how you're pronouncing it now but I'm going to redo the ROM and set it back to scratch and there we go taking a look at the T-Mobile device it should be just about to update right now um, after that it'll be like factory and then I will just use it for a couple days as a Windows mobile phone see how it goes I'll keep track of any reboots or anything that happens um, I will also attempt to tweak it I mean since I'm gonna be tweaking an Android phone why don't I tweak the Windows mobile phone just to see if I can get it, get it to work any better all right, then. all right so I flashed the ROM just took about maybe five minutes and it's restarting now from scratch now it um, still has the hard SPL and everything on it I'm not gonna remove that that shouldn't affect the working of the phone but what I am gonna try to do is I'm not gonna oh, initially I'm not gonna install a lot of big heavy programs or a lot of things to try to improve the performance I'm just gonna run it as cleanly as possible with the default settings first I'm not gonna install anything I don't need I'm not gonna install anything for fun I'm just going to install the things I need to communicate and things I might need for work. And I uh, will see how that goes. And um, then I'm going to, you know, tweak it a little bit, change some registry entries or whatever I might need that might improve the performance. And I'll write those things down to see if that um, helps anybody else out there with their Windows Mobile. After that, I will be then installing different versions of or different ROMs of Android for Oyo 2.2. And I'll do the same thing. I'm not gonna tweak it like I did the last time. I'm gonna just run it for a couple of days with whatever defaults or recommended settings uh, are um, are told by whoever made the stock ROM, and then we will tweak that and see if that gets any better. We'll do that for each ROM. So we're starting off with the default Windows Mobile, and here we are back to the stock Windows mobile ROM that came with the HD2 using HTC's Sense. Uh, having multiple screens here, of course there's nothing on them. Just making sure everything works as expected. Yeah, and it seems to be working fine. So, here we go, beginning day one, testing the stock HTC HD2 T-Mobile ROM. Check back and uh, see how it goes.